Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this video. It is a highly requested video so I hope you enjoy it because today we're talking about the best areas to live in London. Now I've tried to like categorise it so today I'm going to be talking through some cheap options for you if you're moving as a student or you're just starting like your graduate role here in London, you're moving to the city for the first time, you might want some cheaper options. So I've got those sorted for you as well as some trendy options which maybe if you've lived in London for a while and you just want to get like a better feel for the city or if you're moving and just want to be in the heart of the city there are some really good options. I've done a lot of research for this video so I hope you find it really useful. Okay, so we'll start off with a bang and talk about the cheapest place to live in London right now. And when I say London, I'm talking like Greater London, like the whole county, which sometimes you can be quite far out from the centre, but just pros and cons, you know, whether you want to sacrifice a bit of money to live closer or whether you're happy to live further away for a bit cheaper. So the cheapest place you can actually live in London is Bexley. I lived very close to Bexley before. It's a beautiful neighbourhood. I lived in Dulwich, so Bexley's like right in between Dulwich and Greenwich. I have figured out the average rent for all of these places that I'm going to name just so you can get a feel for kind of what kind of numbers to expect when you're house hunting and everything like that. The average price to live in Bexley, I have done the research, is about £1,100 a month. That is not including bills or council tax or any of that fun stuff so make sure you add that onto the top. But it is a really great place to live, lots of green open areas, it's very popular with like young professionals and like young families. I will say it's not the best connected place in London you do have to try and get a train in which obviously is fine like a lot of people get used to that but it does take a bit longer than say like a 20 minute tube. The next cheapest area is Havering with a price of £1,200 a month so pretty close to Bexley. It definitely has a lower population density so a lot less people again a step back from the hustle and bustle but does mean you are a little bit further out of central London. It's actually right at the edge of Greater London but it is connected by a tube, it's part of the district line so you can travel into the central very easily. Then we move on to Sutton with a price of £1,296, again super close in price with Havering but also again very popular with young families. The crime rate there is really low and they have loads of great schools so if you are moving to London or in central London thinking of having a family very soon and looking to move a little bit further out, Sutton is a really great option. Again no tube but there are train connections so if you're happy to commute via train, happy to take a little bit more of your time out to commute into central for a cheaper price certainly is a great option. The last neighbourhood in London within my cheap price range is Croydon with a price of £1,469. Croydon is south of London and has recently had a regeneration so they have loads of bars and restaurants. It's quite a trendy place. It's obviously a little bit different from central London but definitely not a bad place to live at all. Again they have trains into central London which run really frequently and I think you can get into central within like half an hour so not bad at all. This brings me on to the sponsor of today's video which is Amber Student which is a platform students can use to find accommodation. It is Southeast Asia's largest accommodation provider. They operate in over 100 cities, including London, and have over 20,000 listings. It's super user-friendly and easy to use. All you have to do is hop on the website, input some of your preferred options and your budget, and Amber will pay you with some personalized assistance all the way through. They'll even deal with like the paperwork and the lease agreements and all of that really boring stuff. They have some student friendly initiatives like their COVID-19 policy with free cancellations or you can even grab yourself some freebies with their student benefit program partners. So I thought I'd give you a quick run through just to show you how easy it is to use Amber. So I'm just going to type in London and we can have a look at what places they have available. So you can see already there are so many to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and change my pricing and kind of requirements. And I have all of these to choose from and you can even search by the map. So for example, because we all know I'm a big Greenwich gal through and through, we have this one here which would be perfect for Greenwich University. They have some really great options on their websites for student accommodations for all different types of budgets. Whether you want a studio apartment or two bedrooms, definitely check it out to find an accommodation near your university. I'll leave all the details and links down below for you. So if you are hoping to find student accommodation and wanting to live in some trendier areas of London, here are my top four areas for trendy places to live in London. We can't do this category without talking about Camden. It has an average rent price of £2,350, so quite a big step up from our cheap category, but you really are paying for the Camden experience in terms of bars and restaurants and their lively atmosphere that they have. 
It's in northwest London and is like renowned for their markets and just like punk rock atmosphere. It's a really cool place. Even if you're just in London for the weekend, you should definitely check it out because it is so well linked in terms of transport. They have so many tube lines and like no matter where you are in Camden, you're pretty much like 10 minutes from the tube station. So super, super easy. Then similarly, we have Shoreditch, which has an average rent price of around £2,000 and is in East London. Shoreditch is known as a hub for creativity and new tech and it's actually been named like the new Soho. So there's loads of up and coming places, loads of pop ups there and it's a really fun place to be. I will say Shoreditch is quite built up and definitely has a lack of green space so you may want to live in places like Islington if you want that kind of green park go for a picnic in London but still be like minutes away from some really cool places. Then I was so happy this one made the list Clapham which is very close to where I live. I live in the Brixton Clapham area. The average price for rent here is £2,230 a month and is in South London. I really enjoy living here. I've lived here since mm, February so about seven months now. It's very popular with young professionals. I will say like walking through Clapham and Brixton it is a lot of young professionals, a lot of young people like me who are just like starting off their careers or just figuring it out as they go but Clapham is quite a young place because of all the bars and restaurants and they even have their own summer festival festival in Clapham Common every year. Again very well connected with tube links if you want to get into central London it takes me about like 25 minutes to get into central London from Stockwell Station which is just above Brixton or like at the end of Clapham but I really enjoy living here would definitely recommend it. So the last neighbourhood in my trendy category which I have already briefly mentioned is Islington with the price of 200 oh I wish 2230 pounds in rent. It's in the inner city district and again it's super popular with young professionals and young families just because it's a really quirky fun space for like a pretty decent price. It's zone 2 on the underground so super central, super well connected and like bustling with loads of farmer markets and pubs and just really cute places. Like a lot of London it's very cultural, has a lot of live music and a really fun atmosphere. And yeah, they are my top four trendy places to live in London. As you can see, the price difference from the cheapest to the trendiest is very different, but I think it's just because of like popularity and all the amenities they have. But yeah, I am going to wrap up this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of a whistle stop tour through some of the neighborhoods and areas throughout London. If you did want to see any more videos like this, definitely let me know if you want any different like variations. I've lived in London now for about four years, three or four years, so I've gotten to know London pretty well, so I'm more than happy to share some of my experiences with you. I want to thank Amber for sponsoring this video. It meant so much to me and it was a really great partnership, especially for you guys watching this video. I really hope you find them useful. And if you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post a new video every Sunday, so hopefully I'll see you very soon. Bye!